This tutorial is brought to you by Squarespace. Hello and welcome to Storysium. Today we're going to play around in After Effects and we're going to create this awesome scribble effect. You could use this in a music or a dance video or maybe a sports video for example. Anyway, the possibilities are endless with this effect. Let's now jump over to After Effects and do some editing. Inside After Effects we're first going to create a new composition by right clicking on the video file and then select new comp from selection. Now we've got a composition but we need to edit in the video layer so double click on it to open it in a new window. As you can see here by the name of this step we are now editing this video layer only. Next we're going to enable the brush tool which you can find here or hit Ctrl plus B to enable it. Next we need to change the settings for the brush tool inside the paint and brushes tab. If you don't see these tabs then you might need to go to the window menu and then make sure that brushes and paint are enabled just like this. Ok, let's go back to the paint tab and here I'm going to change the color. I will pick white for this example. And after that I'm going to select single frame for the duration option. And that is because we're going to paint the scribble effect frame by frame. Then inside the brushes tab we're going to select the brush size and hardness. You can preview the brush if you move the mouse pointer in the monitor window. And for this example I think we're going to stick with hard around 13 pixels. Next I'm going to scrub to the timeline and find the point where we want to add the effect. Yes, this is a great frame to start. With the brush tool enabled we can now simply use the left mouse button to draw on this single frame. And here I'm going to add a bit of a lightning scribble. We're going to repeat this frame by frame and then slightly change the scribble to create some movement. You can easily skip a frame up or down by using the page up or page down key. Ok, first I'm going to switch back to the last frame and see where I drew the line. And I'll use that as the starting point for the next frame. I will do this for the next couple of frames until the scribble is out of the window. Ok, so now I made the scribble on 4 or 5 frames and this is the result. As you've seen it doesn't need a lot of frames and also doesn't require a lot of precise work. It's easy to make a cool effect. Ok, let's do another example. And for this one I'm going to move a couple of frames back and then start painting around his legs. I will start with a short line which I will extend in every upcoming frame. And after the first few frames I will also reposition the starting point. Also here it doesn't require a lot of precise work, but it might take some time so that is why I've speed up this part of the video. And that's the last frame for this effect. Let's zoom out and give it a quick playback. As you can see it is a perfect match with the first scribble effect. And now that we're at it let's do another one. First let's find a good point to start, how about the hand clap behind his back. Because it happens behind his back I'm going to draw beside and around him. I'm going to draw a circle that expands with each frame. Also here it doesn't have to be very precise and I think that's the charm of this effect. And this one doesn't require a lot of frames, I think that 4 will do. And that should be enough for now, let's do a quick playback. You guys really want me to do another one? Ok, let's do that. Yay! Now we're going to start with this frame. For this one I'm going to draw 3 simple lines and I'll call this one the Wolverine effect. In the next frames we'll add the same lines but on another position and a bit longer. And just like that another scribble effect is done. And that's it for this short After Effects tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching and thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to build your own website or web store then definitely check out Squarespace. I've used them for more than 2 years now and I can confirm that it's easy to start with their award winning templates. Even if you don't have any experience with web design. And their templates are built in such a way that it will look great on any device like your PC, tablet or smartphone. Use the link squarespace.com slash tourism to get a free trial or 10% discount on your first purchase. The links can be found in the video description. I've got some more After Effects tutorials so maybe check out one of these two. But as always, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.